These are some examples of magnetic field meters. There are many different types, many different price ranges. Some are one axis, meaning they only look in one direction at a time. Some are three axis, meaning they look in all directions at the same time. Some have other features, like the ability to measure electric fields, or the ability to store readings into memory, or even to interface with a computer. Some have sound, some have lights, as a way of indicating the field strength. I'm showing these three as three very popular common meters to use. The first one is called the tri-field meter. It will measure the electric fields and the magnetic fields. It's a three-axis meter. This one here has several different ranges on it. If you look at the top of the dial, there's a 0 to 100 range. This corresponds to 0 to 100 milligauss on the magnetic field setting. And so you can measure both weak magnetic fields and fairly strong, up to 100 milligauss. This meter is a data logging three-axis magnetic field meter. It measures AC magnetic fields, has a range up to 2,000 milligauss, and gives a digital readout instead of having a needle gauge. It has some additional features such as data logging, meaning you can store readings right into the meter so you could turn it on, set the interval so that you could measure every one second or every 10 seconds, and you can let the meter run, say overnight for example, and you'll be able to uh, see the data that was collected. It can also be connected to your computer so that you could store, log the data, present it uh, as evidence, it's a nice, easy-to-use three-axis meter. This one here is called the Gauss Master. This is a very inexpensive meter. It's a one-axis meter. Again, has a needle gauge on it with a scale of 0 to 10 milligauss. So it's very sensitive, cannot measure very strong fields, but can be useful for determining if you're above the critical 2 to 3 milligauss level. It's a one-axis meter, meaning it only looks in one direction. So to use a one-axis meter properly, you should rotate the meter to make sure that it gets a chance to see the field. In other words, you rotate it till you get the highest reading, and that's the correct reading for that location.